ships down? Damn Ptolemy! Did make it by nature! I'm no fucking general in front of this Roman government! Those were my men! Easy, Foxidas. We're not done yet. Our catapults will do their work. We'll make them pay. And nearly by the balls of Zeus! I want the ocean turned dark with their blood! Damas this! Make the call! Increase the river! Yes, my captain! Alala! They sent the luxury! A floating city! Thrust! Do the gods wish my fleet destroyed? Fickle Poseidon! This old fish will stick in your grizzled throat! Bear up, old man. Let's not offend the gods with our foes. I'll take angry gods over docile ones right now! Open up the skies and rain some kind of shit down on us! We have one last beast to hunt. Not good! Take a few of that! Galley speed! Heave a galley speed! Fire! That's good! Ready to fire! Take a piece of that! Galley speed, let's go! Fire! Action since the earliest days of Cleopatra's father. <laughs> Let's not celebrate too roundly, old man. We're afloat in the sea with a cargo with a thousand ships. I wonder if Cleopatra survived unmarked. Those clothes looked expensive. All are safe, we are done. <laughs> Attacking Starboard! Oh, we are not done! Ptolemy's Malachi are not dead yet! Get out of the ring box! Use the fog to hide your escape! I will take care of this. Destiny is a fucker sometimes, Aya. Enjoy the calm water. I will stay in the storm. Free you fool! Don't mind the flaming arrows, huh? <laughs> the fourth battle? 
We will honor our goddess! We cannot afford to spill any Roman blood. We cannot traipse into the palace armed to the teeth. So we disarm then. Armed or not, they will recognize her. For once, perhaps a queen's entrance is unnecessary. Act natural. We are meant to preside these grounds. Remember that. Is our queen all right? I'm fine. Who are we? Let me do the talking. None pass here without escort or a royal seal. I am the nomarch of Heliopolis. These are my Philakitae. We bring gifts from our local merchants. Let them pass with an escort. Follow me. This way. Our Imperator appreciates the hospitality. Have you received the warm welcome our pharaohs always provide? We will not celebrate until an alliance is sealed. Your vizier and your king have given us fine accommodations here in the palace. However, I cannot guarantee my Imperator will hold court with you. We understand. You are a good legionary. We will be patient. Do you think we could take them all? Of course. We have better gods than them. Are we there yet? Domine. Guest legionary, at ease. We are with the great Pharaoh Ptolemy XIII, his envoys from the east, with gifts for your Imperator. Carry on, then. An offering? Sereno. <sighs> Pluck it. Would you like me to help you carry your carpet? No, sorry. It is very sacred. Must be handled by the Philakidae. They understand the merchandise. Step aside, legionnaires. Official business for the Pharaoh. Who are you? You look like a hippodrome racer. Uh, I am. You should see me race. The C1 warrior. Continue this way. Guest legionary, at ease. Palace, all politics are concluded. The palace is at your disposition, guys. Pompey was bound to be killed sooner or later. Pompey was your enemy, Caesar. He was my friend first. 
You are right, Ptolemy. Now let us discuss our alliance. What is this? Forgive, Lord Caesar. We bring a gift from our pharaoh, Cleopatra. Pharaoh? This is no gift. These are my sister's friends. It is a trap. In place of an envoy, Cleopatra sends a rug? I wonder how you all entered my palace. God! Kill these traitors! My wretched brother. He's let the wine go to vinegar, and my kingdom to pieces. Great lady, your audacity is equaled only by your beauty. Flavius, please. I can offer you what my brother failed at with me. Marriage. A true marriage, that is. If you ally with my sister, I will kill every last Roman in Alexandria. Enough of the big words, little brother. Out, all. You will each be sent for when our Congress is concluded. I wish to hear both Ptolemy's side of the story. Portinus and Septimius gone. We miss them. You will have your vengeance soon. This is Cleopatra's time to officially become queen. If she is crowned queen, we will be able to act from within. Crush the network. Tomorrow, our queen will have turned flattery into progress. We'll reconvene tomorrow at the gardens. You proved your worth tenfold today. You truly are great Medjais. Aya, dear one, thank you for coming. All is well with great Caesar. Good, my queen. Soon you will be on your throne. Yes, yes. I must ask you a favor, though. The tomb. I fear Lord Caesar should have the honor to bear witness to the author of our kingdom, Alexander the Great. You want to impress your new lover, I see. The tomb is sealed, no? <laughs> It is, but by an act of Gaia, not a royal decree. An earthquake in the early days of my father's reign has blocked the door. Do you know our metropolis well enough to suggest an alternate means of entry? The underground. You would enter from below? Well, I would find a way into the cisterns and canals below, work backwards and find a way to clear a passage into the tomb. That would solve our problem, but it seems idealistic. Fortune favors those who ignore her. I'll examine the area around the tomb and figure this out. Excellent. Rejoice. It is a dead end, my lady. I will double check. Be sure it is. Really? You insult our efforts. We tried everything. Hmm. I doubt it. Strange. 
This wall is not as solid as it looks. There must be a way beneath. Around! Strange. This wall is not as solid as it looks. There must be a way beneath. Around! Broken spears. These Romans really did try everything. They got it right. This way is completely blocked. That earthquake must have altered the structure. This is a tighter squeeze than the cave west of Siwa. We were smaller in those days. Where to now, my love? It must be through the sewers. No one had the courage to plunge into Hades' rivers. We are the ones. After you, Aya. I hope you will provide me with a similar sarcophagus. Whatever you want, my love. It is said that his sarcophagus is full of honey. Helps preserve the car. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. Promise me you will bury me with my blade, so I can protect myself in the field of reeds. Promise. These markings along the bottom. The speech of Siwa. The vault. A scepter that Alexander holds. A moon stands in a field of trees. For a mark of fear and scepter. Mantle. A marked sphere. What did you do with the orb I gave you? I gave it to Apollodorus. He loves those things. We should let the others in. I'm going to keep looking around. These paintings on the wall.
Immortalis. The stuff he is holding. The markings. Ever since I was a boy, I've idolized this man. He is similar to you. I wept at the base of his statue in Rome. At 30, he was a god with an empire stretching across the known world. What have I done with my five long decades here on Earth? It taught me to you faint. Together, we can do more than Alexander did. Yes. How long before the Queen stops impressing Caesar and starts impressing us? Our needs are hers as well. She will deliver. My Caesar, our emissaries have been captured at the southern garrison of Alexandria. Soldiers have reported a hostile environment. Captured? Is this Ptolemy's diplomacy? I will send my guard. Greek soldiers will pass more freely through the city than Romans. Let us settle this matter, my queen. Flavius, come. Look. We have found the great king. Taking on the entire garrison will not be easy. I may not have to take on the entire garrison. A calculated kill and a shadowy presence will fare better. If you take on the armies of Ptolemy, I would like to be at your side. I will distract the garrison with a brawl. A fine idea. I will procure the emissaries. to alert Caesar. What happened to you? Septimius, they are preparing a siege of the harbor. They want to take the palace. I will not betray Caesar! How many more heads must I chop off before Caesar understands? This is futile. A change of plans. The lion says we must march on the Pharos and trap the queen. Then they said... They left for... Where? 
Where? 